I understand that evolution kind of makes sense when you look at the broad picture that things change like living things because it benefits them or they need to change kind of to adapt to their environment. Right. But here's the thing. The overall question is why would life even bother starting first of all? And here's what I know in my tiny little, I got like a little bit of science in here. So pretty much all living things, animals, plants are made up of cells. Right. And the cells, there's a bunch of different organelles and cells that do different jobs, but the main brain, so my science teacher told nucleus. me, was the nucleus. And in the nucleus, is pretty much made of a bunch of either RNA or DNA, I can't remember, but all this stuff is made of chromosomes, which is made up of proteins. And the proteins are made up of all these elements like hydrogen, oxygen, mm -hmm. nitrogen, and carbon. It's pretty much made up of these basic building elements. Electrons. And yeah, all that stuff. So I'm not asking how, like how you can combine all these things to form life, but why? Like why wasn't a carbon just chilling there at the beginning of time just be like, I'm happy being a carbon. I'm cool. You know, I'm just, you know, content with just being me. Why was he like, you know what? I'm going to go get that hydrogen and oxygen over there, and I'm going to combine with them, and maybe we can start thinking and living and being. Like, why would you even do that? And I, I just, it just baffles my brain, and I know that I probably got a lot of my facts mixed up already because, again, I just want to repeat, I'm a programmer, not a scientific expert. But um, I don't understand in my little brain how inorganic chemicals or compounds can become something that's living and being and thinking how it doesn't i have so, no idea why okay. are you you say in my little brain like in my littler brain i have no idea well you know what we can do that like makes my brain hurt so let's we, just answer a call yeah let's hopefully someone out there can explain this to me it's baffling me thomas oh hello um basically um from what i know it's like Okay, so it, it pretty much inorganic compounds and whatnot form because um, of, of the electrons that like spin around the nucleus in the atom. Okay. So um, it all depends on. I learned this in chemistry last year. Um, all the there's a, there's a thing called like valence electrons. Yeah. And basically, what um, each atom has a specific valence electron number and. Um, they try and fill um, the ring of electrons around them so they're attracted to each other. And it all just kind of goes like that. They get attracted to each other. Then one um, has one extra electron, so it needs to fill that ring and so on. And it just keeps on going like yeah, that. Yeah, I understand all that with uh, chemistry and every element is made up of, you know, protons, neutrons, electrons, and then electrons are a basic element, but protons and neutrons are supposed to be made up of these smaller elements called quarks and stuff like that. But basically what I'm saying is kind of beyond that. I'm asking the link between chemistry and biology. When do all these elements who start becoming animals and yes, plants I mean, and people carbon? Look at carbon. It's just a it's just a dumb gas. Hydrogen, oxygen, it's all the same. When do they decide to come together and start living? and being i get what you're asking i don't um that's like an impossible question i mean there's a link between we know proteins which is like the basic basic building block of living things is made up of all these simple elements and i understand how you can combine these elements to make a protein but i don't understand the link between that it doesn't make sense how things inorganically can become living and i know that some awesome physicist or scientist is just sitting there listening to me back like, this guy is an idiot and he's just gonna give me the most simple explanation but that is what's baffling me right now so that's i don't what... know either so it, basically from what i know it's like l the definition of life is when like a compound starts reacting on its own without having any other chemistry mixed with it it just starts reacting on its own because of um reactions in its environment and it just builds on that but as uh, i'm just a freshman high school student so i don't i'm not an expert on the topic but from what i know <laughs> hey um, me neither so that's what it me is neither. well we're gonna try to work at this and uh keep watching so maybe we're gonna solve the mysteries of the universe so stay <laughs> tuned okay thanks